here we are in the final battle of Pokemon. Blah, blah. Oh, what a great start. Excuse me, but uh, here we are in the final battle against uh, Team Plasma's N. We're going to have uh, Vinny leading off, and I actually did teach Vinny a new move off screen, and that is Dragon Claw. I don't know how helpful it'll be exactly, but uh, hopefully it'll actually do a decent amount of damage to Regiram. I don't think it will, but the point is Vinny had uh, two fighting type moves, those being Brick Break and High Jump Kick. I got rid of Brick Break, and turns out it doesn't even do that much damage, so I guess it really wasn't that worth it. And I really didn't want Vinny to die, because now that he's dead, um, I'm kind of having to deal with this Reshiram with uh, some of my other Pokemon, such as Charlie, who doesn't actually do a whole lot of damage with Surf. He does a decent amount of damage, but not really that much. That's only because, uh, you know, it's a Surf is a neutrally effective move, because Reshiram is half uh, Dragon, half Fire. So it's super effective on Fire, but not very effective on Dragon, so it ends up being neutral effective, and it's just annoying. Uh, but there it goes for Hyper Beam, which is actually, you know, technically it's, uh, Fusion Flare is its, you know, strongest move, but, uh, Hyper Beam is kind of, you know, a stronger move, but, uh, it does more damage, basically, but, um, it's not, like, its signature move, it just does more damage, but, uh, kind of annoying because, you know, Hyper Beam takes you out, though, oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me, why does it keep avoiding all my moves? Now I'm gonna have to use my Max Revives, and I really don't want to waste these because there is another battle coming up right after this one and you might need them. Yeah, I'm saying this right now. If you have any max revives, you definitely want to save them for the next battle because, um, you know, this is kind of a spoiler, but yes, there will be a battle right after this one and I've got the entire episode for this battle, so I'm really not trying to rush anything. Uh, but I just misclicked with uh, Slash and uh, he's definitely going to go for the Fusion Flare, which is not very effective, but either way, he can go for a Hyper Beam now, so he gets a free hit. Look at that. That is... Oh my gosh, Flash, Slash does nothing. That is just pathetic. So now Charlie goes down once again, and I'm going to have to go for, like, someone that can definitely die very easily, such as Iron Giant, who can actually die quite easily to, like, something. But uh, he does have Earthquake, which can take him out. Um, I, I think Earthquake should be super effective, actually. So, actually, this isn't looking that bad. Yes, it is. Um, I thought for some reason, like, uh, it would be neutral effective because of Dragon type or... I don't know, I just think Dragon types have that flying type too. I don't know why I always think that, but I do. Alright, so we're quick. We've got uh, the Pokemon Black Safe file in which we're taking on Zekrom. And there may have been an uh, uh, like a sudden cut there, but uh, I apologize if there was. I'm really not sure at the time in which I'm recording this. But either way, this is the Black Safe file. And uh, we've got um, Jay Freed's the Minora Pokemon here. Um, hopefully gonna go for a Shadow Ball when we actually survive a Fusion Bolt. Um, as you can see, Reshiram had Fusion Flare and this one has Fusion Bolt. Uh, because the only Pokemon I need to take out for recording-wise is this thing, I really don't care. I'll do the legit battle later on. The point of this is just so that you guys can see in the sidebar what moves this thing has. And I'm probably gonna fail terribly at taking this thing out on this save file, but uh, pretty much I'm gonna go for two Scoop here who should have actually been in the first position of my party, but he wasn't for some reason, or she wasn't. But either way, let's go for an Ice Beam, and that should be like a one-hit KO, considering we've already got like, uh, the Shadow Ball that did a little bit of damage there. Oh man, that doesn't, oh man. I thought that would do a lot more damage, actually, but never mind. Apparently, this is gonna be a lot more difficult than I expected. So there he goes for a Fusion Bowl, which may actually take me out, but hopefully it won't. I mean, he's only four levels ahead of me. Now, if this Ice Beam doesn't take it out, ah, Damn it, that is, that is annoying. Uh, now I'm gonna have to heal up, so I don't know why this is taking so much effort, and I've actually only got like 10 Hyper Potions left on this save file, and now he can go for a stupid little Forest Ore, and this is just gonna be very annoying, but I'll go for my own Hyper Beam, or Hyper Potion, even though I probably should have gone for like Ice Beam again. Um, either way, I'm pretty much gonna keep using Ice Beam and eventually take it out, even though it's kind of just stalling out for a little bit. Um, Fusion Bolt is like a two-hit KO, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, never mind. It's a critical hit. Whatever, you get the point. I'll uh, I'll do this battle legit at some other point, but that's basically Reshiram and Zekrom. And uh, now he's going to go for Vanalux, which is that little ice cream cone thing, and I'm going to go for Nova the Fire type, which can hopefully take this thing out kind of easily, but there's Reshiram down, so we've got the main problem down. Reshiram is his strongest Pokemon, obviously, because it's uh, legendary and everything, but... Uh, you know, if you guys actually decide to stick around with Reshiram or Zekrom, depending on what game you're playing, uh, this can definitely be a lot easier, but uh, I decided, you know, to be cool and not actually use them, so 
I don't know why. I don't know why I decided to do that, but I did, and now I'm kind of facing the consequences. But either way, uh, second Pokemon here is going to be Vanalux, and at some point there may have been a cut there, so may have been kind of abrupt, and I don't know why my voice is cracking a little bit more than usual, so I'm sorry about that. I really haven't recorded in a while. It's been like a week since I recorded the last video. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm definitely not quitting. I'm keeping this going, so... Uh, by tomorrow, I think I should have the next battle up, which is against Getsis, if you guys haven't figured that out yet. Uh, and you don't get a chance to heal up, so you may want to keep around your max revives, that's what I was saying it for. Um, and I know that might be spoilers for some people that have not played the game, or, you know, if you're playing along, it might be spoilers as well. I, I don't know why it would be spoilers, but either way, I'm just letting you know, because you're definitely going to be needing those max revives later on, so... Anyway, next up he's going to go for Karakosta in my case, which is the water and rock type um, turtle thing. It's actually pretty cool. I like the design of it. It's kind of like Blastoise, but uh, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. So, uh, you know, water and rock means it's uh, four times super effective against uh, grass types, but it does have sturdy. So that's very annoying, and it does have stone edge, so Spankwire may go down. I really was hoping he wouldn't or she wouldn't, but she does go down, and that is very annoying. Uh, but the hail takes it out, which means no one gets the experience, so in the end, N killed himself. It's kind of stupid, but uh, works out, for me at least. Um, he goes for Archeops next, which I was hoping he would go for uh, whatever that other thing is. Um, Kling Klang, the gear thing, whatever it's called. I really don't know the name of it anymore. I know in Japanese it was like Giga, Giga Gear or something. Um, so I'm going to revive Charlie, which is actually the only thing that can take out this guy's Archeops, because... I could go for Iron Giant, but Iron Giant is, as you know, half Ghost type. Um, Herbina, not, uh, not that doesn't matter. Um, Archeops is half Flying type, which means Earthquake can't hit it. Um, so instead, I'm gonna have to go for some Surfs on Charlie, which are super effective anyway, because this thing is half Rock type. And I realize, uh, N actually has a lot of Rock types, or at least half Rock types. I'm hoping this thing would be a one-hit KO, but I don't think it will be. Oh, it is. So that's awesome. Um, last time I got a critical with Stone Edge and took me out of one hit, believe it or not, so that was just really annoying on his part, so now he's going for Kling Clang. I'm actually going to stay in, and uh, I don't even know why, but I'm just going to stay in on it and uh, heal up. I don't know, I kind of want Nova to get some experience, so I'm going to use this uh, Max Revive. I'm going to use one more, probably. Um, I'll try to use Revives on the rest of them, but I really want Nova to get some experience, so maybe Charlie can die. And uh, I'll actually be able to use Nova and take this thing out. So there it goes for Thunderbolt, which means Charlie's definitely down. And uh, now we can go for Nova, which can hopefully take this out with some Flame Burst. I keep thinking Flame Burst is not really, like, that powerful of a move, but it's actually a lot more powerful than I think. And if you guys haven't noticed yet, I'm trying not to leave any of his Pokemon in the red HP, because then he can use his full restores, and I really don't want that happening. So, there we go. Flame Burst is a two-hit KO, so hopefully he doesn't have, like, some uber move that can... Kill me in one hit like Hyper Beam. That is... Oh, man. Ah. Oh, oh great. <laughs> I thought that would kill me in one hit, but thank God it did not. Um, because uh, now I can actually take it out with a Flame Burst. I don't know why my voice keeps cracking. I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, now that the uh, main... like the, I, I don't know if Zoroark will actually be that big a problem. I don't think it should be, but it does have some Dark-type moves. So I'm going to have to revive Charlie and maybe use like Revenge on it because it can't actually take out Vinny with like one hit from a uh, focus blast or something so that's actually pretty annoying so I'm gonna go for Charlie which just has revenge or maybe I can just go for some stab moves like uh, I don't know surf or something who cares point is I'm gonna try to take this thing out um, without using Iron Giant because Iron Giant does have the half ghost type so we can go down very easily anyway um, what I was trying to say is uh, yeah I'm gonna upload some more Ratchet and Clank tomorrow hopefully this video will go up maybe late Wednesday night, because I did promise I would upload a video on Wednesday, and I know it's Wednesday now when this is being recorded, but I did try this, to be fair, I did try to record this yesterday, and it didn't really work out, so, I'm sorry about, uh, not having that up, but, uh, oh, I just realized Iron Giant had Dynamic Punch, oh, man, could have definitely made use of that, so that could have been a smarter move, but now I'm gonna have to go for Charlie, who can hopefully kill this thing in one hit with Revenge, I don't think we'll be able to, but, Hopefully we will be. Anyway, uh, I'll have some more Ratchet and Clank up by tomorrow. And he does go for Focus Blast, which will hopefully not one-hit KO me. I don't know why he goes for Focus Blast, but... I really, really was hoping that wouldn't kill me, and it does not. So now we can go for the Revenge, and maybe take this thing out. Uh, hopefully. Yes, we do. Awesome. Thank you, Charlie. You are actually amazing. 
So if you guys don't know that I've been uploading Ratchet and Clank, you can actually check those out. I would really appreciate it. I mean, yeah, there we go. We defeated N and uh, a final voice crack to finish it off. Yeah, uh, you have nothing to say. Rajaram and I were beaten. Your ideals, your feelings, they were stronger than mine, it seems. And we've got some cool anime cutscene thing here. Zekrom and Rejoram, each of them choosing a different hero. Is that even possible? Two heroes living at the same time, one that pursues ideals and one that pursues truth. Could, could they both be right? I don't know. It's not by rejecting different ideas, but by accepting different ideas that the world creates a chemical reaction. This is truly the formula for changing the world. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. After all of that, do you think you're still worthy of sharing the name Harmonia with me? You good-for-nothing boy! To start with, I spurred N into pursuing the truth. The reason we reawakened the legendaries now was to give my Team Plasma more power. Power to control the fearless masses. That at least was well done. After saying you had to put your beliefs on the line in battle to see which one chosen by the legendary Pokemon was the true hero, you lost to an ordinary trainer. There's a, such a thing as being too stupid. Add it up, and you are nothing more than a warped, defective boy who knows nothing but Pokemon. Orange? I never would have thought the legendary Pokemon would choose a trainer like you. It caught me completely off guard. This doesn't change my goal. My plans have not been disturbed. In order to rule this world utterly, in order to manipulate the hearts of people who know nothing, I will have N be the king of Teen Plasma. But for that to work, you, since you know the truth, you must be eliminated. And we'll see what goes on next time. <laughs>